Well, now it's time for today's <laughs> guest. Ross Smith and Granny are internet sensations known for their hilarious viral videos. Today the comedy duo is here to discuss their new show, Granny Pong, as well as Savage with Ross and Granny, which is available to watch at Whistle Sports on Facebook Watch. Take a look at some of their best moments throughout the years. Run, Granny, run, 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 run. Hey, you know what you remind me of? What? You know what you remind me of? Who? A Q-tip. A Q-tip. Clean my ears. Get in there and clean my ears. <laughs> Everyone, back. please give a warm build brunch welcome to Ross Smith and Granny. Woo! Woo! Oh man, so tell us about Granny Pong, your new show. It's you, Granny, playing against uh, like a beer pong game with a little twist against celebrities, right? Yeah. Well, we've met so many celebrities over the years, and I found that Grandma has a crazy hidden talent at playing beer pong. <laughs> I don't know where you learned it, if you've been hitting up college parties the last few years, but uh, we wanted to take it to uh, mainstream to Hollywood and play some people in beer pong and while I interview questions and she just wrecks them, so. <laughs> <laughs> Super exciting. Wow, who would be your dream celebrity to have on the show? <sighs> who would you say your dream celeb would be to play against? Uh, let's see, I would say, um, Betty White. Yes. Oh. Oh. That's, that's why I want to yeah. I think, I yeah. think yeah. Betty White. I'd say Shaq probably because we would just beat him because he can't shoot anything. Oh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Betty White would be good. That's two old farts going at it. <laughs> <laughs> like Rosie the Riveter part two. But uh, yeah. Nice. And there are, are there any celebrities that were on this season that you could tease? Uh, well, we did actually go on Steve Harvey's show. This is mm -hmm. kind of what started it. And she beat Steve Harvey on his own show, yeah. live oh, audience. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, thank you. Yeah. Um, but uh, we've done some stuff with Steve-O, Howie Mandel. Um, we're working on getting some athletes, too, some big athletes. And, uh, oh, I love and Chuck school. Norris. Yeah. Ooh. Schooling athletes at drinking games, though. That's what I'm saying. Real basketball players, too, because oh. it's kind of that, Phenomenal. yeah, the motion. So that's why I said Shaq. Like, I love <laughs> to wreck him from the free throw line and beer pong. But, <laughs> Granny, uh, what's the secret to the beer pong? What's your form? I don't know. It just seemed like I got that touch. Yeah. That you just throat. got it. I just got it. You can't <laughs> teach that. It's in the blood, right? It's in the blood. <laughs> She's a good partier. That's what it is. And you guys have a Facebook watch series as well, right? Yeah. So we what's just, that all about? We just, uh, we've obviously, we've have uh, 25 million followers on social media, and it was time to kind of work on something more concrete and long mm -hmm. form. So we paired up with Whistle Sports and made a Facebook watch show where we go around our hometown and prank some people. It yeah. was super fun, wasn't it, Granny? Oh, yeah, I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, what was your favorite? Met a lot of beautiful people. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite prank? Uh, let's see, what was my favorite prank? You did go on a blind date. Ooh, Ooh that's scandalous. Right. I did go on a blind date. Yeah. <laughs> she hadn't been on a date in 30 years, so. Man. You're not missing yeah. much. You're not missing much. She's dusting off the old cobwebs. She, uh, <laughs> the dude looked like Colonel Sanders, too, so it was really funny. It was like did you 80. Did you have fun? Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. I did. It was really joyful. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys have like a couple drinks or what was the day? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. Hmm. And we had a nice meal and everything just went dandy. Classy. Oh. Got a little yeah. flirty. We want to know, yeah, did you smash? Oh, no. she don't know what that means no. yet, but I'll teach you later. Please okay. don't tell her. Please she means, did you eat your food? That's what she meant. Yeah. <laughs> and you guys also have a house party episode, and you were out yeah. handing out flyers. So what was that whole experience like, and did people show up? Well, it was cold. Remember when we were handing out the flyers on campus? Oh, uh, it was. So. But it was and we, cold. And we landed people from that. It was like, it had to have been like minus five degrees that Ooh, day. And wow. we still had people coming in, so like. That's like true dedication yeah. right there. So we were excited. Some weird people showed up. <laughs> not gonna lie, uh, but it was fun. Like that was an experience in itself. Just taking grandma to college. Yeah. Like, How far yeah. do you take it? Like, does grandma drink or like where where do you? Cut you 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 drink a little bit. <gasps> I sure did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she plays margarita pong instead oh. of beer pong. Yeah. I like that. She doesn't really I like, like beer. Yeah. Or she does like wine. So oh, you well, could have yours. a sip. That's yours. Take a sip for the. Let's do a cheers. Throw well, it back, dog. Cheers. Yeah. What are we cheers into? Cheers. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Should I Grandma? go over that way? Yeah, get everybody. Okay. Cheers. Sad. Cheers. 
That's amazing. Man, that was good. Mm. It's really good. Oh, thank you. So you guys gained your success initially on Vine when you started get you know getting millions of views. Like, yeah. what was that journey like? What was that for like? Were you recognized, Granny? Oh. Well, how was it getting? I have to translate. Okay. I can't hear that well. How was it like when you started getting famous? It was a whole new. Um, how would I, I was exploring something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> yeah, it must be so exciting. And uh, <laughs> well, no, I mean, I could talk for her a little bit. Like, Grandma grows up in like a real small town. How would you describe where you live? Like, go ahead. Not really. Yeah, say it. You mean it's it. not really. Yeah, go ahead. The hood. The hood. <laughs> Grandma lives in the hood. But you like the hood. I saw the I video, live right? In the hood. He said you love you like the hood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're getting all shy up here, damn. Yeah. <laughs> but grandma like grow, lives in the hood and like she's lived like a really like simple life and all of a sudden like all this fame just starts hitting. She thought I was taking pictures. Mm -hmm. She's like, where are these pictures going? She didn't know what the internet was. Wow. She didn't know what Vine was. And she just show up to like the local like shopping center, and she was famous, and <laughs> it was it was like overwhelming. She's just like, why is everybody taking pictures right. with me? Like, what's going on? So, I could that's kind of like, like yeah, how it went. You. Yes, I got and you. And <laughs> what is it like working with obviously this generation gap? Like, do you like working with your grandma, Granny? Do you like working with your grandson? I do. Yeah. You do? Yeah, it's it's uplifting. Yeah, yeah. meet beautiful people, and. Uh, it's great. Yeah. yeah. It's you teach great. her the lingo? Yeah, I, I'm trying. I didn't, shouldn't know Smash yet, but we're working on that. <laughs> I, oh. I, passed. I thought you would definitely know. That's why I used it. Yeah, <laughs> my heart broke right there. I need to teach Sorry. you some more, but we're working on that. Yeah, I teach yeah. her some lingo. She teaches me how to like move really slow, mm -hmm. like do really old people things, which is kind of like, it keeps me humble, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never get like super Hollywood. I have to I have but, to spend two weeks every month in the hood, so, <laughs> so you know, but yeah. it's been good. And can you talk about some of like the brand partnerships or like video collaborations you've done with yeah. people? Yeah, so we've worked with a bunch of awesome Fortune 500 uh, companies, like Wendy's is in our hometown, love them. Uh, Bud Light, Hasbro. Sour Patch Kids recently, which was really oh. fun. They let us kind of test the limits a little bit. That's fun. Um, and it, we worked with a bunch of great companies, um, and we're excited. Yeah, that's it's a big part of our business. Yeah, that's so exciting. Yeah. You know, Granny, yesterday we had a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model on the couch, but I think you're taking my breath away more than she did. Ooh. <laughs> they had a swimsuit model on the couch, but he says uh, you're, you're taking hotter. his breath away more. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> I'm more starstruck. What a <laughs> you were you were on uh, the Playboy Civil War edition. So that's what I really <laughs> Most popular issue. The, the yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Abe Lincoln was sitting there. <laughs> but you guys have been at this for a while, and we've seen a lot of like fads or social media people come and go. And yeah, you, it's been a long time. How do you guys stay so relevant? Man, that's the crazy thing. It's the hardest part about what we do is staying relevant. Like I said. The turnover rate is crazy in this business, um, but we've been doing this for almost six years now. Yeah. And I think the key is always moving forward, coming up with new concepts, new ideas. Um, even like when she wants a break, I'll try and go mm -hmm. film with other folks that you know bring some like you know new people to the quote unquote team. Right. Um, but just being original, staying up on your trends, staying active, never stopping. Mm -hmm. And it seems like basically I, I follow you on Instagram and everything. It yeah. seems like you, you have a breath of like the videos which are more like organic from the iPhone, but you do scripted stuff as well, like the Avengers. Yeah, I love, yeah, yeah, yeah. The scripted stuff is actually a way more pain in the butt. I right. love just taking my phone and walking into her house and <laughs> asking her where the drugs are and stuff. And like, and people are like, ah, but um, yeah, you do a little bit of both. People like scripted, people like unscripted, right. people like pranks, people like trick shots. We try to hit every audience, you know? Mm -hmm. We do music stuff, like we do sports related stuff. We just, if you keep everybody happy and you keep cycling through like kind of a path, that stuff right. works We well. couldn't believe when she was pushed in the leaves. Oh, the leaves. Yeah. oh no, the leaf pile. We were upset. They said they couldn't believe when I pushed you in the leaves. Oh yes. yeah, okay? I remember that day. I hope, <laughs> I hope he's paying you a lot of money. Hey, it's yeah. right there on that picture, yeah. 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 I no, I, 90%. I, I, I swear I patted that. I got pushed in like 50 <laughs> times before she okay. did. Okay, That's good. what we wanted. We were like, yeah. oh my God, he's yeah. evil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Steve Harvey gave me a hard time about that one. Really? It was like in my face, but I was like, why would you do that to your grandma? <laughs> I was like, she was cool with it. It was soft. Huh? But I'm impressed with Granny. You did your own stunts. Yeah. yeah. You do your own stunts, don't you? Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you both are really involved in philanthropy, which I think is great that yeah. you guys are giving back in a way. We don't, do not see a lot of social media stars doing that. Why is that so important to you? Well, I mean, we started 
we built this, like, like I said, we have 25 million people following us, hundreds of millions of views a week. You know, we're like, okay, this is fun. Let's, we're making people smile. This is awesome. That's my goal. But like, what else can we do? Because I'm getting all these, these messages. We call them DMs. Right. Mm -hmm. um, from people, like just the most heartfelt things I've ever heard. And I was like, oh, I would love to get back. And everyone associates me with, uh, with old people. So I was like, let me think how I can get back. And we're like, let's help old people. Right. <laughs> so we started walking into nursing homes, like learning a little bit about what's going on and uh, finding out a little bit more about Alzheimer's and dementia. And then we're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is really sad. This affects like one third of people over mm -hmm. the age of what, 70 or something like that. Um, and it's just like, it's just a sad thing because you never see it coming and, mm -hmm. it, and it's, uh, yeah, it just hits you like a bus. So um, we decided like, hey, let's try and get back. Let's, let's show people that old people matter. Yeah. Old, yeah. old is cool, right, Granny? That's oh, right. Yes. Look at that hair. I mean, it's <laughs> cool. um, so we, we were like, how can we, <laughs> how can we give back? And uh, we're like, well, puppies are cute. Yeah. So we started bringing puppies to the nursing home. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about it? No, you're doing a Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did, the people, <laughs> how did right. the people react to that? Oh, they were so happy yeah. and excited and just loving and whole nine yards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no snakes, right? No you snakes. You don't like snakes. No. <laughs> <laughs> he said, no snakes. No, no snakes. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> that gives me the We got to get those, those hearing aids tuned up after this. But, uh, yeah, so we, uh, we uh, decided to um, even go further. And we just like, oh, this is really cool how these people love the puppies and everything. Yeah. So let's like, we would take the puppies when we leave. We can't leave these folks with like, right. these puppies, right? We're like, oh, we leave them empty-handed. They're all like super sad. <laughs> like, oh, th an hour of playing with a puppy, and now what? Now what? So, right. we kind of found this pillow company in Chicago, and we would take an ex make an exact replica Aww. of the puppy and the shape and everything, and then give them this pillow of the puppy to have. Yeah. So, oh super God, cool. So that's that. kind of our new thing: is raising money for the uh, pillows, uh, giving back on that, and uh, just trying to uh, trying to shed some positive light on what's going on and that's the, the elderly yeah, community. That's that's good. Good. That's cool. yeah. Robin Granny, thank you so too. much for being here. It's been great to have you. Yeah. Here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for thank you. teaching her about Smash. Oh, I gotta explain. Sure. I can't it's wait. like the I birds and the bees some. combo tonight. <laughs> and make sure to follow Ross on social media at SmoothSmith8 to see the duo's future projects and check out Savage with Ross and Granny, which is available at Whistle Sports on Facebook Watch.